Welcome to the Volco.com's YouTube channel. I'm Marcus Jose, your host, and today is the first episode of Growing Up Iron Man. Now, Iron Man is an American bully. He's a eight-week-old puppy. The series was made to give you guys a real-life look on how to raise a puppy from the time that you usually get them home at eight weeks old to about five months old to when they actually start to get the things and start to behave certain ways. Typically about five to six months old, you'll know how you've done with your early training by the way the dog starts acting. If they start acting out or they're acting up, they're chewing on things, they're not listening to you, then you've done a poor job of raising your puppy. But these next 12 videos is really going to give you guys an inside look on how to train your dog correctly. One of the first things you need to do when you first bring your puppy home is kennel train your dog. And the reason for that is because they need somewhere to relax and know it's a safe area. The kennel can actually put them in a state of mind that typically puppies can't get into. Actually relaxation. A lot of times when you bring your puppy, you, a lot of times when you first bring your puppy home, their minds are everywhere and it's very apparent when you let them out in the backyard you know, they typically sniff everywhere, they're chewing on things, they're going running around the yard, you know. They're, they're running around everywhere, but they're not really paying attention to you. They're kind of just more, they're, it's more of their sensories going overloaded. Or it's more of their sensories being overloaded. So the first thing you need to do is start to kennel break your dog. Second thing you need to do is start teaching your dog food control. It's as easy as putting the food on the ground and teaching them they can't eat the food until you let them know. And the last thing is start potty training, guys. Day one potty training. Actually, kennel training and potty training go hand in hand because you use the kennel to train your dog where to go pee at. One of the main things that causes problems is the human being or the parents, when they first see their puppy, that's the first thing they want to greet when they get home. And a lot of times, it's really bad because it teaches the dog that whatever excitement that you have you're going to exchange that energy to them and that's going to translate into behavior like running around the house behavior like not listening being being overly excited so as much as you want to greet your puppy when you first get your puppy when you get home from work you need to stop yourself take your puppy outside but do not give show do not show your puppy attention until your puppy's calmed down now, as you can see here, Stark is a rambunctious puppy, and I purposely did not do any training with Stark until eight weeks old so I can record the videos and show you guys how to train your dog properly. Now, without further ado, we're going to put him inside the kennel, and we're going to show you kind of how much he doesn't like it. Stay tuned. So this is the kennel we're gonna be training Stark in. Now remember, you want the kennel big enough for them to be comfortable, but not big enough to use the bathroom and still lay back down comfortably. So this is gonna help teach them they need to hold their pee until you allow them to go outside. But, they, but make no mistake about it, guys, there's gonna be accidents. So patience is the main thing that you're gonna have to learn with your puppy. All right, so let's go ahead and put him in here, let's see. Now he has, he has been here a couple times before. Back, 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 back. All right. So he's been here a couple times before. Uh, and I can tell you right now, he cries a lot. And he's very hard headed. You're gonna have to realize what kind of personality your dog has. Are they going to be hard-headed like Stark here? Kind of a lone wolf? Kind of an alpha male? Or are they going to be more relaxed and, better and easier to train? Like some of his brothers and sisters. I can tell you right now, Stark is going to be the hardest puppy to train. I promise you. Which is why I'm so happy I kept him. Because I'm going to teach you guys what you need to do and how you can do it. So let's see. Now, when you, when you first put him in the kennel... You want to put him in there for about an hour. And hopefully in about an hour, he'll settle himself down. So we're going to keep this rolling for a little while and see how long it actually takes him to relax. Twenty minutes later.
It's not hard to kennel train your puppy. It just takes persistence. I typically, if I'm going out for an hour or two, I put him in his kennel. And well, first, I, I let him use the bathroom first. No water. Put him in the kennel. Let him relax. When I get home, I don't know if he's still crying, but for the most part, when I get, as soon as I get home, I open the kennel, I pick him up, I put him outside, and I leave him outside for about 10 minutes. I watch him through the windows, but I kind of just let him be who he wants to be. Utilize the bathroom, you know, sniff around a little bit, and relax. 12 seconds later. So you want to make sure they calm before you take them out of their kennel. Because it's the feeling you want them to associate with the kennel. A good feeling. And never use the kennel as a punishment. It's a good place for them. Let's move on to the next thing. Now, food control is very easy to teach, guys. One of the main things is patience. So no matter how many times it takes you or how long it takes you, you have to, shh, hey, you have to be patient and allow them to get what you're asking of them. So let's see if we can do that, all right? Wait, Papa. Wait. No, wait. 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 No. <laughs> now, it's his first time me doing this. And obviously, he's not going to get it, right? This is what I'm looking for on this first time. I'm looking for him to relax or not, and not automatically try to get, get it. Nope. Just sit down, buddy. Good boy. There it is. Okay. So what I just showed him is that when he looks at me, he gets food. So I'm instilling that respect from them. When you want to eat, you look at me in the eyes. It really will go a long way. Try that out. So Stark's just like a lot of puppies, guys. There's really nothing special about him. He's in... He's a cute puppy. He likes to explore. <laughs> he goes pee anywhere he wants. Obviously doesn't know commands and he's very playful. What? Stark. Stark. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to teach him good habits. So, you guys need to remember some don'ts when you're raising your puppy. Don't pick them up when they're excited. Don't pick them up and pet them when they feel insecure. You're only going to breed that feeling. Don't pick them up when they're feeling insecure. Don't pick them up when they're excited. You pretty much want to only show them attention when they're calm. Like this. This is a good time to show the puppy affection. Because this is showing him if he acts like a good boy, he's going to get petted. You're a good boy, huh, Papa? You're a good boy. <laughs> so he's, you know, we've, we've, I guess we've behavioral behavioral trained him or training him for a while now but shh, hey we don't let him bite shh. we don't let him bite we don't let we don't let him chew on fingers it's not okay never ever is it okay so after kennel training after feeding him you go outside, you allow him to utilize the bathroom. 
you give him good boy, and then you let him just be a puppy. If you are doing it correctly, he should go outside, he should find something to play with for a while, but then he should relax. He should be sleeping. He should, you know, enjoy just the wind in his hair, <laughs> right? Uh, he shouldn't be everywhere. Your puppy should not be everywhere. Right, buddy? Now, Stark is, he's a special case in the fact that I produced Stark. I kept Stark. I've been not training Stark, but he's actually picked up on habits of my pack. When you're outside, you're not, just, you're not exploring the yard. You're relaxing outside. So he's picked up that habit. It's a pretty good habit to have, I think. No, he's still a puppy, and he still likes to play. He still likes to bite shoes and strings and stuff like that. But for the most part, I really like how he's developing as a little puppy. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope I was able to show you guys a little bit of what you need to do the very first week you get your puppy. Now, for the next couple of episodes, we're going to be recording day after day. So it won't be a one-day thing. It'll actually be over the span of that week. So this week is called bringing your puppy home and showing you what things you need to start on right away. And like I said, this is Growing Up Iron Man.